<laughs> I like taking walks with you. <laughs> Seems like we get most conversation when we do that. Oh no, she's coming back. I think the kitty is trying to follow. We got to run. 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 We got to run from Nugget. We got to run from Nugget. Run from the kitty. No, she's coming. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. what? Why is she going there? Oh, Toby. 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 The thing is that it's so normalized that it's just like you don't think it's abuse. You don't definitely don't label it as abuse. It's just normal, you know. It's like you you do you you're doing your dues to climb whatever ladder you need to climb. So. But now as far as like working for yourself. There's I nothing to climb except do better today. Better tomorrow. <laughs> That's the only goal. And then sometimes better isn't even like do better financially goals. It's like, oh, you cried in the kitchen yesterday randomly. Let's try to have a better day tomorrow. <laughs> so it's not like, oh, we made a hundred today. Let's aim for two hundred tomorrow. No, that is the shit that I went through. Though. Uh, it's like, oh, you met quota today. You know, that's it. No, no, thank you. No, you, you did your job. Do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Some of the quotas aren't even easy to meet. You know? Yeah. So you be harassing the shit out of some customers just to beat your quota. Books of Millions is a good example of that. Oh uh, yeah, those magazine sales and stuff like that. Nobody fucking reads magazines. That's what I was thinking, like, you know how hard it is to sell a magazine in 2022, 2023 now? You know that shit free at the public library? You can download that bitch to your phone. Sometimes when we're talking about me getting a, a second job or whatever, and yeah. you're just like, well, if you want to. And I'm like, it's not that I want to. It's not that. So, because I know it would be easy for me to fall back into that trap of me trying to be my own provider when a nine to five ain't ever gonna do that yeah. you will be surviving at best and you look at my mom you know how many years experience she has years and she's still only surviving do you have that much years of experience that much education and you're still just surviving could not do not want to do that I've heard this quote where it said that nobody you know who has two jobs is doing financially well. <laughs> I was like, dang. I'll just get into some real estate. That's easy. She's just like, bitch. <laughs> if it was so easy, we'd all be in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, this is why everybody has a job at, you some, know, some franchise. <laughs> That's easy. Yeah. You show up for the interview and could work that day. Because <laughs> that's happened to me. <laughs> oh. Just throwing a top over my interview shirt. Bam. I'm ready to work. I'm ready. And then you have them kids. Like actual kids. You know you how to oh, we can go. flip stuff online and make a hat. Put it on Etsy and be making bake. Yeah. Off of one hat. So. Clearly the, the knowledge is there. They got to figure it out over there. Uh, honestly, I was just thinking old southern mamas and grandmothers. Okay. If they say the Impossible Burger can fly, then you straight. My grandma be sitting there like. It's a vegan say it. I don't trust them. No. A vegetarian say it. I don't trust it. I know if my grandma, she'd be like, this burger ain't right. <laughs> Here we are at the Burger King podcast. <laughs> it can't be the Burger King podcast. You can't have Burger King every single time you do the podcast. Um, it's got to be different restaurants. The restaurant podcast. Mm. 
We're not here to judge the food. But we will. <laughs> but we will. It's not what we're here for, however. Perfect reasons to just nap. So you got the itis and your long sleep. Mm. You couldn't, didn't have no good sleep last night. Mm. Well, I'm the thing is I, I had good sleep. I was having good sleep. And then I woke up like, you know, one of the moments where you kinda, your eyes kind of just pop open. And you're just like, hello? Why am I on? What time is it? <laughs> and I was like, oh, five in the morning. Why? Why am I up? In the building. Keenan, first time 2023. Hydro cold water. No, you stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be uh, doing big things now, man. Blood Brothers is coming to an end finally. It's about the series. No, no series. Till the series drops on HBO and HBO Max. No, we're not doing no series. Maybe. If, they, if, if we're on HBO and HBO Max, though, that means they're giving us money, so. You know, I had to shoot a series, the Blood Brothers series, a brotherhood of ex-military vampire slayers. Hmm, well, you know, I might be down with that, you know? I mean, See? I mean, it's very generic of a storyline. What's well, not? <laughs> Any mean, show, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all generic. It, it is, it is. I'm with it, you know? Especially nowadays, as long as, it's, I think generic is the best way to go nowadays. <laughs> It was like, well, we know it works. We'll so, just make the whole thing super uh, dramatic and like really good action scenes and everything, but we'll still have a laugh track. What? We'll still have the laugh track. That sounds like that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, trust me. If you look at like Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, all, not Crunchyroll, <laughs> it's anime, like HBO and stuff, right? They're, they're constantly bringing out new stuff. And like if you watch a lot of the new stuff out there, it's oftentimes you don't even know who these people are. It's kind of like you're just there to absorb whatever story they're trying to give you. So that's what I mean by like in the next 10 years, if we keep making content as much and as in bulk as it's happening right now, we're in like a content boom right now. Like if we keep making it as much as we are, then it's going to end up being like the actual the movie star. Like that's your status like it's not gonna mean the same as it used to because back in the day it was always angelina jolie brad pitt eddie murphy like it was, you can always george count, clooney yeah george clooney you always know who these people are and they was just in everything you know now it's impossible for them to be in everything because it's just so much now we've been talking my fellow let me pick this camera up Ugh. all right so we've been talking about doing a Star Wars film. Who I'm black, y'all. So we've been talking about doing a Star Wars series for a minute now. And uh, me and Keenan, huh. Well, that, that might be a series, it might be just a movie, but um, we couldn't, it was like very expensive. Keenan's a very expensive person. <laughs> so like, but we found a way, we, we, thought, we thought it over today. It was like, we could low budget it out by using miniatures and stuff. So, this is gonna be a test shot of this dragon. I forgot this dragon name. What's his name? Alduin. Alduin? Yeah. Oh, I call him Fred. Nah, I don't call him Fred. <laughs> I call him Jeffrey, though. I did call him Jeffrey before I knew who Alduin, the actual name was. So, for the longest time he's been sitting on my desk, his name been Jeffrey. Anyway, Keenan, uh, massaging Jeffrey over here. <laughs> Or Alduin Jeffrey the third. Jeffrey Alduin the third. Taking a picture of the statue. And then we're gonna we're gonna force perspective the dragon as a statue in the uh, in the actual video. And so I'ma shoot the picture first. I don't know if yeah. Okay, yeah. I will shoot the picture first. We have a green tile to be used as a green screen. And then um, from there, we're gonna post it. Oh crap, I see what they mean by the focus is gonna be hard to get. Oh my God, this is awful. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna do this, Kenny. 
Okay, I think I got a shot. I think I got a shot. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good enough. So, essentially we have a statue now. That's supposed to be a giant statue. And now we need to put this in a file somehow. So, so let's say, depend on, so now we need to figure out how big the statue is gonna be in our shot. So if we are walking, let's say we're walking, how big of a statue is this to us in comparison, like to scale? Like, are we like, like size my finger, for example, or are we like this size? And we're like walking next to it. That first notch would be good. First, so it's gonna be a huge statue. Hey, has that has that always been there? Uh, yeah, man, that's, that's, that's been there the whole time. Come on. <laughs>